Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, Happy New Year. February Outturn is around the corner and we have some absolutely cracking casks to share with you. One of which, which has a nice cork pop just now, is 149.4 Lake Code. So 149, a newish distillery to the Society's coding system. And dot four means the fourth ever cask we've bottled by the Society. It's called a Tasty Morsel. It's a six-year-old juicy oak and vanilla in the collection called The New Wave. Now, there were a series of bottlings that were recently released uh, around the world called The New Wave Collection, which includes this whiskey. Uh, and it's, as it says, celebrating new distilleries with the original master, Bob Dewar. The artwork on the labels, which you can see here, is done by uh, what we call our original master, Bob Dewar, the, who was the man who did all the original artworks for the society, as well as the ceiling at the vaults. If you've had a chance to see the ceiling, it looks a bit like this. The ceiling at the vaults is the original artworks of Bob, and we've collaborated with Bob again, and this is Bob here, uh, to do a number of artworks for the Society over the last 12 months on some of our newer labels. And it's been great working with Bob again um, in the UK. I've never met Bob. I'd love to, though. He, he seems like quite a character. Um, so shout out to Bob. I hope you're watching this. Um, but Bob Dewar, our original artist, has, um, has done a bunch of artworks for some of the bottlings through the Society of late. So it's a nice throwback to where we started in theme with the 40 years of the club just recently. And we're really excited to put the fourth ever 149 in that collection and in our February outturn. Now 149 is a distillery that has already picked up a bit of a cult-like following. Uh, they have a great distributor here in Australia uh, for their core range. I'm gonna do my best not to say the distillery name. And it's on the, actually what I can say is the distillery itself, Distillery 149, is located on one of the hardest places to get to in Scotland. It's all the way over on the Ardnamurkin Peninsula. How'd you like that, huh? So you can probably take a pretty good guess at what Distillery 149 is. Um, Adam on, behind the camera is shaking his head at this ridiculous statement I've just made. But look, this is one of those whiskies that you say, it's, it's got this whole, it's, it's already got this following because of the way that they already present their spirit. Most of their spirit, I think, if not all of it, is at least 46% ABV, great proof, uh, great price, and, and, and great spirit. It's this, it's picked up this, coastal malt character. It's picked up this lovely sort of old school whiskey character to it. And in this case, we're releasing a six year old, which is actually pretty old um, for, their, for the distillery. The distillery's only been around for about eight or 10 years or something. Pardon me. Uh, and this, um, this is full maturation and a first fill PX hogshead. I'm gonna just double check that. I think it's hogshead or a butt, but it's first fill PX sherry maturation. So it, it, it has picked up a bit of a darker hue in the glass, this one. It's, it's not peated, it's their unpeated spirit. And it's, it's super like rich and textural. This is a textural masterclass of a whiskey. Straight away, you pick up like that wool fat, that lanolin, that sort of like lamb roast. You pick up that sort of like brown bread, lamb roast stuff going on, like gravy but it's also so sweet. It's like sugar gravy. It's got this lovely sweetness from the PX, but the PX in this case hasn't actually overwhelmed the spirit for something that's completely matured in PX. The spirit is still very much there because it's, because it's young. Now remember, younger whiskey is no lesser than older whiskey in any quality perspective. It's just younger and it imparts different flavors. I'm quite a huge fan of young whiskey because you pick up a lot of that lovely distillate, a lot of those barley sugars, a lot of that character in the spirit. In this case, it's just it just oozes that uh, richness of that coastal malt with the PX balance to it. That's lovely nose. Let's have a taste. Even more so, even more of that sort of lanolin, wool fat, uh, lamb roast. But there's a bit of fruit on that spirit as well. It's lovely. There's a bit of sort of like that papaya and and sort of grape going on. The grape part might be a bit of the sherry showing its face there, but <sighs> this is the kind of dram that you'd have on like, this is like a summer afternoon, just a thick kind of like textural whiskey that's, that's not gonna overwhelm with your peat. It's not gonna be, it doesn't need to be overly complex, but it's still got all these lovely layers to it. Um, this is definitely what it says on the tin. It's a tasty morsel. Don't miss this part of the new wave. 
This is the third bottling from the new wave we've released, 156.2, more of the month from January. Also worth grabbing if you love your uh, modern Scottish peated whiskies. Uh, and this one, and the toasted, uh, the toasted peanut butter and jam sandwich, 146.3. I'm testing my codes and names and memories here, even from just last month. Uh, and then 149.4, and there's one more of the Bob Buer collection to come after this, which I'll keep under wraps for the moment, which we're very excited to get all four uh, of those in Australia. Uh, this one is available in February out turn, first Friday of the month. I hope to see you soon. Hope to see you all in an event. Hope to see you amongst the society that we love bringing to you every single month, every single week. Sanjava, to your good health, as you were. Kampai, cheers, and see you soon. Okay.